Welcome back nerds. My name is Jim. I am here today to do another walkthrough uh, of a tower defense game and this time it's Field Runners 2. It's been a while since I recorded one of these videos but I wanted to get one out. I've been working towards the uh, achievement in this game called uh, Tour of Duty which uh, requires you to play at least once a week. Every week for 26 weeks uh, or 6 months is what it says on the thing but you know do the math. Uh, so I thought I would jump in here and do a quick demo um, of the only level that gave me trouble on the casual difficulty. Uh, I haven't done it on tough. I've done, you can see I've done most of the levels on uh, tough and on the difficult, uh, difficult, uh, or what is it, heroic difficulty. Um, but I just wanted to show the path and see how it goes here. This one sort of hung me up for a long time. Uh, I'm not too concerned with my towers, uh, except that I know that I want something that's going to do a large amount of damage over an area. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of my fire. I tend not to do that. I've been playing for a while, so I've unlocked some pretty good stuff here. Um, I like the radiation tower, um, and I like the pyro tower. I guess I mistook the pyro tower for something else. I'm going to leave the pyro tower in. And I've got these link towers. I've never used them on this level, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Um, I've switched, I've opted for the uh, the other slowing tower, and I've also unlocked the machine gun, and I'm using that instead of the Gatling tower. Um, I tend not to use these. That's just me saving up. I try to go through these levels without using too many items. Uh, though I'm sure for some of the achievements I will have to. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump in. I suppose I should have said the name of this level, but uh, I'll throw that up on the screen when I post the video. I, all I do is click the flags and play the game. It's a pretty fun level. Uh, I always go for... Um, the fast forward, but I'll pause to uh, to go through this. And it looks like maybe <laughs> I've already made a mistake. Nope, guess not. Uh, the key on this one really is to get through the first few rounds nice and easy. Um, lengthen the path when you can. Always it's important to lengthen the path as opposed to finishing your path. Okay, we got some nice saved up here. Let's get an upgrade there, see if we can knock these guys down before they get in. I'm not going for perfect here, but I, I always tend to uh, hate to see that 20 on the hearts go down, so see what happens. I don't always pause between levels but when I'm feeling like I'm going slow enough or I feel like I want to just make sure it all works out or check the path again I will pause it. I make a lot of use of that. These guys should go down no problem. Now I'm going to look at a different kind of tower. I do want to, I really want to use these link towers on this level, so we'll see what ends up happening, but I'm, I'm excited to give those a try. Alright, we'll upgrade that. I'm going to put one upgrade on the slow tower and get another one of these down. I use the machine guns purely for path generation, and then I fill in all the gaps with something else. And if you've got enough slow towers in then it's usually no problem. This big guy's down. Okay, we will. This is always a little tough spot here. I want to save up a little bit because when I block this path here, it actually shortens the amount of time it spends in front of the guns on the other side. So I'm going to pause it, plug in some towers here. Just 
blocking them off. Okay, because of this path here, I end up uh, coming up here pretty soon. I will start front loading some damage. I think I'm just going to let them go. Yeah, I'm not too worried about all 20. I don't need perfection. Just a path demo. There we go. Alright, now I got one of these laser towers. They do a significant amount of damage. This is a good placement here for the, the slowing tower, whatever it's called. Uh, because it keeps them in the laser l as long as possible. And go for upgrades quick on this one because the amount of health that the enemies have goes up relatively slowly so if we can front load a lot of damage then we end up uh, doing pretty well here. Blow up some of those guys, nice mega combo. Okay, it's time for me to start thinking about uh, lengthening the path here. I haven't given much thought to how I'm going to do the link towers on this level. Um, I'll figure that out a different time. But I try to make him come uh, all the way around here. I'll fill this in with a radiation tower or a pyro tower or something later. Uh, but I always try to get him to uh, come around this long way, walk a little bit on the fire. Um, and actually I've, I've misplaced this tower. I'm going to put that there so I can get him on this fire here. There we go. Okay, we've got our air raid thing done. All right, time to start filling this in. I do want to make sure that I've got some slow going down while they're walking around here and when they come back around. I have a long path planned here. I'm going to slow them down on the fire there. Uh, and I'm just going to block them off like normal. Actually, I've got a little bit of a shift in my plan. I'm going to put a link tower here see what I can do with that later on. These guys go down uh, much slower but we've still front loaded a lot of damage so it's not any problem here. I'm gonna wait till I need it. Uh, never be afraid to use this but don't use it for one guy, the, the airdrops. These guys are going down pretty quick. Nice long path. I'm waiting for this pyro. I want to put it down over here uh, so that I can make them come up and then I'll further block the path. But... I play all these on fast forward. Remember you can always pause. Whenever there's medics out, that's when I tend to use my uh, my airdrops. I'm gonna go for it now. Okay, got my pyro tower out. I gotta start thinking about blocking them here. Because what I want is a very long path if I can get it. Okay, I'm going to put a link tower, link tower, link tower. I'm planning out my link tower placement so that I can 
get maximum damage here. I'm just going to go really long this way. So what we want is for the enemies to come around the outside like this. And then uh, I'm actually even going to block it so they can't go through here. They're going to have to come all the way down and then go under this bridge and come up around the top. And I'm even towards the end going to end up lengthening the path just a little bit so they come back out here and probably end up walking on this grate uh, before they come back up. Uh, it comes out with a long path where they are just going to get damaged non-stop. And like I said, I'm anxious to use these uh, uh, link towers, so I'm actually saving to just put a bunch of those down when I can. I'm going to block this, make that path as long as possible. Alright, link tower going down. Ooh, they, that does a pretty good amount of damage there. Yeah, that was pretty close. Oh, this is going to be good. A lot of low health guys running through at the same time. Let's see if I get that achievement. Nope. That's all right. Almost got enough for another link tower. Let's uh, front load my damage on the linking here. I'm going to throw it in there so they're coming down, running through it. Doing it again. This is going to be a big damage dealer right here. That's going to be fun. I think my pyro tower is going to interfere with the achievement for uh, killing 10 of them in quick succession with a link tower. That's alright though. All I want to do is win beat the level. I've got most of my path set up. I'm not going to extend it really until I feel a need to. Uh, so really until they start making it up past this curve again on a, uh, more than one round in a row, then I'll start thinking about it. I guess I could put link towers in over here and front load some even more damage. I uh, enjoy this Field Runners 2 way more than the first one. I feel like this one is a slightly more story driven as much as uh, it's hard to put a story in a tower defense game of any kind. Uh, this one does seem to do a pretty good job of it. And I like the way they introduced some new mechanics in this game as opposed to the straightforward uh, approach to the last one. Not that I didn't like the last one. The last one was pretty fun. I just wanted a little bit more. Here we are at the halfway point. Taking down these tanks. I want to get one more link tower here and then I'm going to start really just upgrading. Come on, here he goes. Alright, cost 35 to upgrade a link tower, 45 to buy it. It's pretty straightforward. I don't think I've ever upgraded these before. Uh, 
Oh, nice. Getting some pretty good damage there. I'll upgrade the middle one. I'm not quite sure how the upgrades work on these, but let's see what happens when I just upgrade them all. Seems like the central one would be the one that would boost everything here, so, so or at least the ones that link to the central one, so we'll just see what happens. Going down nice and easy right there. It's going to be a big high damage area. Okay, here we go with the second upgrade. There it is. Hey, there it is. Ten units, one after another, using a pair of link towers. Always nice to see those come up. You get bonuses for unlocking all the cards, which is a... That's a mechanic that I really like about this new one. never seen uh, what happens when the medics run through there so we'll get a chance to, note, to see what happens there all right significant damage of course if they make it around this thing they're running through one two three four five six seven uh, laser lines there let's upgrade this one so we get more power on the first pair that they walk through. These laser towers really make it easy. We'll see what happens after another 10 rounds when everybody's got more health. Oh, that's right. The I haven't played in a week. I forgot about the sidecar guys. Okay, I've got some extra money here. There's no bonus for keeping it around. So I'm just going to keep spending it. I didn't even realize I was almost up to 70 there. It's good that the laser is not discriminatory. The uh, pyro tower and the radiation tower uh, tend to do a little bit less to the hazmat guys, but a laser is a laser. Uh, the ones that I suspe suspect they do less damage to are the tanks, um, so the next time I see those I'll have to uh, go back and upgrade a lot of my mechanical damage towers, the machine guns, namely. Oh. Got my uh, airdrop ready to go. I might just throw this on endless at the end, see how long I can go, and put down a ton of laser tower or uh, link towers. There we go. Three of them fully upgraded. Oh, they don't stand a chance. No, yeah, I'm feeling a little overconfident. I'm just going to blow the airdrop, see if I can't get 70 uh, on an endless round here. Get that upgrade down. I guess I could have reduced the length of time that these uh, guys are on the map if I had built all my link towers more to the front, but uh, I'm not too concerned with time here. It makes for, <laughs> obviously, a longer video, but... Even that doesn't matter so much. All right, they're all coming in. A lot of death. Alright, all five of my link towers are fully upgraded.
I'm going to think about how I can place them in the front here to uh, throw down a ton of damage. I might even get rid of some of these towers in favor of a cross-linked set of four. I'd kind of like to see what that does. Maybe I'll replace one of these with a slow tower just to keep them in this line longer. Man, that is some nice damage going out there. These guys are dropping like flies. Yep, just like I thought, the uh, tanks aren't so much affected by it. So I'll start uh, throwing out some upgrades on the mechanical stuff here. I'm wondering if I should have brought some rail guns to this battle, but oh whatever. They die well enough. I don't like to sell towers very often, but I am anxious to see what what round I can get to on this one. All right, link tower going down. It's not going to do anything until I get another one. So effectively, when you throw this link tower into your lineup, you're going to need to have $90 saved up before it's worth anything. Um, so the cost of a link tower to use is essentially the same as a uh, pyro tower, but it has benefits. There's a much greater benefit when you uh, put them in combinations greater than two, obviously. Ah, buddy of mine playing Team Fortress. Can't quite figure out if I like that game. I play it occasionally. There you go, all the bio going down. Oh man, that's nice. Alright, I'm going to pause and sell my slow tower there, throw in another link. Uh, but I do... I don't know if I really want to replace that. I don't think I need to. Man, that's nice. Okay, I'm even going to sell this laser tower, throw down another link. So now I've got nice cross-linking there, throw in an upgrade. And they have significantly more life, they're much tougher to kill. Uh, as we come up on round 60, so you really got to have some some nice towers down. There's one at max level. Get some more mechanical damage out. I have to go right along the line here where they're going to travel. Make sure we get those tanks down as they come up the rear here. I think that'll probably do it. Let's slow them down on the fire. And if they get through, they get through. I've got um, 
I've almost got another airdrop coming in, and I've still got 17 hearts, so that's kind of no big deal. There we go. One more going down. Ah, one of them might get through. That's alright, though. I'm going to use my airdrop. Waiting for all of them to come out of the tunnel. I don't know. I might not need to. Maybe I'll just upgrade this pyro tower. They do seem to hurt the tanks. Uh, at least a little bit. I guess I'll see what happens when the tanks are nearing the end. gonna need it. Oh cool, I've got uh, plenty of cash to go around. Should be no problem going through that laser set there. Yep, coming right down. Let's upgrade one of these ones in the front. Yeah, nice damage, nice damage. Good good stuff coming out there. Again, should be no problem. I don't see much in the way of sidecars here. Nothing. Okay, another upgrade there. We've got two max ones on the front. So we've got uh, four laser lines here that are doing some pretty significant damage. I'm going to have some get through here. Those uh, medics really kill me on this level. Actually, that was the reason that I lost so much, even on casual, very early on when I was uh, first learning this game. And if you've got tips on how to take those guys out early in the game uh, without using these link towers, uh, by all means, put them in the comments. This stuff is killing me. Hey, Legendary Panzer. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this guy. I don't have much in, uh, in the way of mechanical damage sitting around. It's all right. Throw some out. Oh, maybe I got him. I like that they threw this in. This is that's a very cool addition to the game. You'll notice here that most of my towers are placed so that you can uh, damage enemies from more than one approach. Um, so just like right here, this Panzer's coming around, but he's going to have to pass all those towers again on the other side. Uh, and all these towers will actually get to damage this tank three times. Uh, but in most cases, the path passes those towers twice. So uh, I can do a lot of damage more than once. And that's kind of the key to a lot of this game, is making uh, lines of towers that end up damaging the waves more than one time, because you really have to throw out a lot of damage, and if you're just uh, having them pass your towers one time, that's uh, obviously not ideal. And that's true of most tower defense games. I don't think I've run into one that's uh, any different, really. Now, one I've really been wanting to record 
is uh, oh geez now I forget the name of it it's that first person one where you uh, you're doing a tower defense thing against these aliens that are coming in to steal your cores just like every other tower defense game uh, but it's done in a first person way and I really liked it when I was playing it uh, a while ago the one thing I never did was any multiplayer so I'm hoping to get some uh, buddies together and put some videos uh, up here and actually do some some of that game if I could remember the name of it I would surely mention it just had a sequel come out too I haven't even played it nice now the rounds are much quicker when you kill most of them at the beginning or all of them if you can here we go Oh, I've got money for an upgrade. Wow, that was a good little bit of damage going out there. I think I might be done with Link Towers on this level, at least until the uh, endless part of it starts. What the? Good solid damage going out. I think I've beaten my old score. I think after I beat it the first time, I really didn't go back and play it. Yeah, I was focusing on some achievements and doing some uh, other levels. Alright, these tanks might not go down. We'll have to see what happens. I don't have much in the way of mechanical damage, but I guess I could throw down some uh, rocket towers here. Maybe we'll load some damage towards the beginning and then when they come back through these guys this area here attacks them three times actually too so as they're coming out as they're coming around the bend here and then when they come back around the outside uh, and then under the bridge so they end up with a lot of damage coming out of there might not be enough as I have it set up but uh, we should still be able to get through this level no problem And I'm coming up on an airdrop number four. Tanks are pretty heavy duty. I think I'll probably get them down. Get two of them down, and then I can at least bump up the damage because I'll be able. They cart ten. Uh, it's ten dollars each time you kill one. So. Okay, and that one goes down. Let's get an upgrade in here. One more down. Got money for another upgrade. It's a pretty close level here. Okay, get the final upgrade going out there. This should be no problem at all. Nice. And because I know another ones are going to happen, and I've got plenty of bio damage going out, I'm going to throw down a few more missile towers in places where it's not going to interfere if I want to put down some more uh, link towers. Okay. 
All right. I might wait till some more medics come out and just take them out with my airdrop here. See, see how that works. Usually I can get a few extra rounds out of it, which means uh, about 100,000 extra points on uh, this level and most other levels, I guess. Do I have these upgraded all the way? I do. Just about ready for an upgrade on my leading uh, pyro tower here. Okay, upgrade number one going out. Six more levels to the end. some pretty good combos over here nothing too huge I mean these laser towers tend to take them out but usually I'm getting more mega combos there's a combo boom really like those pyro towers Cool. Second upgrade. We've got a fully upgraded pyro tower right there on the front now. Dealing some serious damage. I still haven't upgraded all of my machine guns. Should be able to take these guys out no problem. They're halfway down before they get halfway through my path, so... Nice. These are worth five each. Uh, so I think when I blow these, I'll probably fully upgrade another one of these uh, missile towers. Probably this one down here, since it's going to do damage twice. Actually, it hits this pass. It'll do damage three three times. It'll come up here, then they go out, and come back in, and they come back in again down when they come around the top. There we go. Two more coming. I might just pop this uh... come on uh, I think I let one through nope it's only 14 an upgrade going another upgrade oh he's maxed Max some more of these machine guns. It's always nice when you uh, get them before they even make it to your big damage. Uh, I guess you call it a kill box in most games. It's always nice when your tower configuration lets you do almost the entire level without upgrading every tower. And without really filling in the map to uh, maximum length. So this is going to be good when I go into endless mode here. I don't think I'll make it 150 rounds, but I'll come pretty damn close. Final wave. Knock him out the box. Cool. Another card.
Looks like the only thing I have left to fully upgrade is this uh, pyro tower. And then I'll start uh, seriously hitting some other towers. I probably need a lot more rockets. Ah, nice and easy. We got some some of these uh, smaller tanks coming out pretty early. Or nice to see. That's uh, encouraging for when the big dogs come around. I should have brought a rail gun. They do tons of damage. And for late game, where I'm just kind of waiting for the guys to go down, uh, it's nice to be able to fill in the, with the rail gun. There we go. See what ends up happening here. It's going to be tight, but I got plenty of hearts left. I'll finish the round and then um, I won't record the whole thing. This one's getting pretty long, but I'll put in the uh, comments how I end up going, how long I end up going on this level. I always find that. A little bit interesting uh, to see how far different people get and the different strategies that people use. Uh, but if you're stuck on this level, then uh, at least the path is uh, wide open. You can use it um, in any different number of combinations. Uh, when I first managed to beat this one, I used a lot of the laser tower and I used the pyro tower. I didn't have link at the time, uh, so obviously you'll have to modify your uh, your strategy, but the path works. Uh, you'll just probably end up putting a lot more pyro down, a lot more rockets, um, as well as laser towers. Yeah, these guys are probably just going to get through all of them. That's all right, though. I did beat the round. And while we are waiting for this to finish, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, again, my name is J Jim. Um, I am uh, recording for the Nerd Life Level Up community, uh, which is on Steam. So if you'd like to uh, come play with us, we are growing. I am recording videos every week. Uh, again, took a nice little break there. Um, but we are uh, giving games away as we are able. Uh, so feel free to join us. Just search for Nerd Life Level Up on Steam. And uh, I will see you next time. Thanks.